Part of what makes a comic great is a struggle to win over an indifferent crowd. When comics no longer have to struggle, sometimes they're not funny anymore. That's what happened to Johnny Vegas. That's why Johnny Vegas is washed up. Please welcome Johnny Vegas. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd, I'd love to say something funny happened on the way over here tonight, but, you know, having a chauffeur-driven car really does cut down on awkward coincidences. <laughs> Johnny Vegas has declined as a result of, quite simply, fame. First class rail travel, eh? Overrated. I mean, the food's still rubbish. Success has affected Johnny in many ways, but it's, I think it's taken the edge off his act, to be honest. I saw a pair of my socks on eBay being auctioned. 80 quid. <laughs> <laughs> what, what kind of world do we live in? <laughs> right then, good night. It's such a pity that, that somebody who could have been potentially so nice has, has become such a fool. I'm on fire! Did you hear that? You can actually hear them listening! I love theatre audiences! Johnny Vegas, I'm a big fan. Hi, hi. Um, I'll be fire! I'm here to help. To help. I'm here to help. The name's uh, Kai Rydal. I'm uh, a celebrity fixer. I um, help people who've gone adrift, lost the plot a little bit. Johnny Vegas is a big TV star who no longer appreciates how to work a room. His management have asked me to solve this problem, so I'm taking him back to the Edinburgh Fringe Festival where his comedy career began. I want him belittled, humiliated and broken. Only then can I make Johnny Vegas funny well then, Johnny again. Lad. Kai Rydal, celebrity fixer. This is Angelo. Oh, Wilson. How are you, all right, mate? Angelo's Ices, your sponsor for the next couple of weeks. Very, very funny man, mate. Very funny man. Oh, yeah, mate. We're in Edinburgh. For the festival. Looking forward to it. I had a lunchbox on my mind, Stuart. My plan for Johnny at this festival is to take him back to the beginning. He's in smaller gigs with a lively audience, not some TV studio where they fetch his tea. I'm breaking him down to build him up. Sometimes in life, you've got to go back to go forward. Well, I'm fucking knocking him right back. Right. This is your gig. Oh, she's lovely. They do. All right, Angelo, yeah, lad. Great. All right. It's lovely, that. You happy with it, Angelo? Yeah, it's fantastic, that. Nice one. Right, I'm off to get some Savile. I'll leave you with it. See you later. What I had to think of with Johnny was, who could I put him with as a potential sponsor that's going to show him in the worst possible light and do him the most personal damage? Uh, I came across this simpleton, Angelo, uh, and it just seemed perfect. <coughs> I'm Angelo Wilson from Angelo's Creamy Ices and this is my van, isn't she gorgeous? And this year I'm in Edinburgh to sponsor Johnny Vegas. It's my belief that the relationship between Johnny Vegas and traditional old-fashioned ice cream is like a marriage made in heaven. So, who's ready for ice cream? 
It says traditional ice cream, doesn't it? But yeah, it does. It does. It does. And it's not that it's massive. So everybody's going to hear you mention ice cream, aren't they? Do you know what I mean? Even people that sat at the back there, it's going to be great. You found the perfect venue. Right. All you need now is the perfect comic to play a, a, a space like this that, that can really whip this up and you're, you're Johnny, also a winner, fella. You are that perfect comic. What, what do you think we're picking for from the beginning? I, I'm not, mate. I have certain uh, technical requirements. But there's everything here, Johnny. There's not an orchestra pit. But what do you want an orchestra pit for? Because I do this new, like... There's a time around clever, about there. Clever stuff about uh, uh, Dante's Inferno. I can't descend from there. Well, just come out of that door then. I need a way. I can't. I can't be Christ like and come through a door. I just want you to tell a few jokes about ice cream, Johnny. Johnny, look, it's great. No, but. Ladies and gentlemen, did you hear about the stone about the strawberry vanilla ice cream? It's great. You've not quite done it. You haven't got that finishing finish off checks, have you? Did you hear about the chuck ice yeah, that it. fell in the orchestra pit? Bloody man. No, they didn't, because there fucking isn't one. If I do a gig where I can see the back wall, it's got to be for a sick kid or a relative. I need a theatre audience. If I'm ever going to develop beyond my pupus stage, I need listeners. Johnny, I can't afford it. It's too empty. I've become too delicate. To play this! I'm not having this. Guy! Have a word with him, mate. I was oh, yeah, just... Please. No, but no. And I'll tell you what, you can beat me with the biggest stick you can find, but I am not... Right, if you... If you just put the snooze to the back, it'll make work. That'll be fucking funny. Two chalk ices. That's great, lovely. Yeah. Everybody's happy. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Super. Right. The plan for Johnny at this festival is to put him into a very, very bad place. Emotionally, physically, uh, geographically. Um, and to that end, I put him in a shitty little flat with Tony Kenner. Good evening, I'm Tony Kenner, stand up comic. We haven't noticed on food now, they've always got like pictures of celebs on. Do you know what I mean? Like uh, Jane Asher, or Ainsley Harriet, or you know, Lloyd Grossman. I mean, what's that all about, eh? It's rubbish, isn't it? I put Johnny and Tony together uh, because I couldn't think of a quicker come down than rooming with that frightening little fucker. Get in there! Right, ten o'clock tonight, your first gig, right? Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate! Here's your flat, mate. Sorry, Kenner. Johnny! Okay. How are you, fella? Yeah, you alright, man? I'll need you to take care of this lad for us, Tom. No problem, yeah. Anyway, listen, what's your favourite flavour? I told you I'm lactose intolerant. You cheeky chim. Fuck off. You know, with Johnny staying here, we can bounce ideas off each other. You know, maybe come up with a sitcom. You know, a film, a pencil, whatever. It'll just be like jazz comedy. You know what I really hate, Johnny? You know what I really hate? What? Celebrity endorsement of food products. Look at that. Ainsley Harriet on the front of Hot Shot Marinade and Sauce. I mean, what, what's that all about, Johnny? He's Why? A he's a chef. Y yeah, but why the fuck's he there? What, what's he doing? Jane Asher, chocolate flapjack mix. I mean, what's that all about? She's a famous baker, Tom. Paul Newman's old Italian dressing. I mean, fuck me, John. Look at that. I mean, I mean, Postman Pat. Postman Pat on pasta shapes. I mean, he's not, he, he's not a chef, is he? He's no, not even no, real, you're right. that, is he? That one's wrong. He's, he's, you know what I've been doing, Johnny? You know what I've been doing? Right. You know what I've been doing, fella? Mm. Right. I've been, I've been cutting out the faces of the celebs. Do you know what, all these bottles? Yeah. And I've been putting them on things that they don't actually sell. Do you know, like, I've got Paul Newman, I've cut him out, look, and I've got him advertising Durbach M, liquid, kills head lice, crab lice and scabies. It's like, you know, Paul Newman doesn't really, you know, he isn't really on the face of that, but he's selling crab cream. It's funny, isn't it? It's funny, it's funny, isn't it? 
Yeah, yeah, it's funny. It's you oh, like it's Johnny. I mean, coming from you, that's, that's really nice. I mean, you know, I, you know, I love you. You like, know, it's funny. Tell me, it's funny. It's funny. It's funny. I swear, it's funny. Yeah, it's, it's good, isn't it? I might do it myself. I uh, bite. Cut Uncle Ben's face out and put him on, on some uh, ant killer. Don't you fucking dare nick my material. I'd say I'd cut your face out and stick it on some fucking bleach! So this is it. Shez Kai. Home to me and Angelo for the duration of the festival. You uh, might be asking yourself, why am I in a beautiful pad like this and Johnny? Some shitty little fat with Sony Kenna. Well, that's what I do. You've got a toilet each. Fine. You've got blankets. Mm -hmm. You've got a cooker hood. So? Well, what? Well, have you seen the well, shit all you put us We're in? not here to discuss the flat. We're here to discuss I'm you. I'm here to discuss the flat. I'm not. I'm here to discuss... It's your money. Absolutely. So shut it then. I'm here to discuss you incorporating your work into ice cream. Because at the end of the day, I'm sponsoring you, aren't I? Incorporating my work into ice cream. Precisely, because you're the best, aren't you? Yeah, 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 I'm actually. Right. And you turn up and you think you're just going to, like, buy your way into my life and incorporate my life into ice cream. Absolutely. And how the fuck do you think I'm going to do that? That's for you to find out, not me. What do you mean? You're me? the comedian, aren't you? I'm the ice cream man. You're the best at what you do. And with your help, I'm going to be the best ice cream man. I can help you. You can. Have you seen my act? Yeah. Do you know what I do? Yeah. It's pathos. Right. It's agony. It's sharing. It's taking a piece of yourself and offering it to the world. It doesn't come with fucking wafers on it. You're scared, you. Yeah, I'm... I'm you're scared, I'm you, because really, you, you can't I'm really, do it, can you, Johnny? I'm really scared of I'm you. big Johnny Vegas, and I just can't incorporate a few ice cream jokes into my program yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm crap. What jokes do you do, do this noise? Think about it, you're the best. What do you think I fucking hired you for? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you know, my dad slotted me pet rabbit and fed it to me. 99ers. No. Where's the link? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My dad slaughtered me pet rabbit, so you know what I did? I went and bought myself a 99. Yeah. Johnny, just think about it, right? Two ice creams walk into a bar, right? A red one and a green one. And the landlord looks at them and says, um, you know, the new bike finish it off. Do you know what I mean? You can do it. I don't it. know what you mean. Oh, you can do it, Johnny. I don't want to do it when I'm not doing it. <clears throat> a girl walks into another bar and she says, um, does anybody want to lick me strawberry split? And then, you know, you can finish that one off. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing Chubby Brown-esque ice cream gags. Don't How long? Uh, uh, We've got our catchphrases, Johnny. We haven't got our catchphrases. We haven't got anything. Yeah, you've you got your chimp. You what? don't belong in the I've got my dudes ready for ice cream. It's not a comedy catchphrase. My plan is to bring him here and to make him more fucking miserable than he ever thought possible. I want him to remember what it's like and what set him off in the road in the first place. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Johnny Vega! Your mother hates me. Well, I'll let me not say goodbye. <laughs> Just, just, just on 
the back and ran off. <laughs> All this shouting, all this yeah, yeah, yeah. I came out here wanting to do a genteel show. Oh, nice yeah, and yeah, nice. Yeah, all I give you are five cannons to the left of him. <laughs> <laughs> There's one lass out there look at her, gorgeous, frightened. <laughs> yeah, she's well to do. <laughs> I'm sorry, I see you quaking. <laughs> You didn't intend this to happen. You wanted a night of culture, didn't you? Oh, you're folding up like a little origami panda. So tender, so threatened. That's the life I want, not you. Hey, the theatre goer. I bet you put your kebab on a plate. I'm sure, well, I'm sure, no, I'm sure that's about, I know, it's a Highland Scottish ritual, now we're married. <laughs> <laughs> so go and get your cock cut baby. off and learn to listen. <laughs> Trying to talk to the nice lady, I don't want yeah. this, I want you. <laughs> Teach me your ways. <laughs> Oh, even the shy little laugh tells me you've got servants. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Fuck you. This is the life I could have married into. That's still time. The step the just keep on, come on. <laughs> I had chips. <laughs> you know, if you love me, have me. But don't just use me to piss your dad off. <laughs> It's not fair on me, and it's not fair on me. <laughs> You're cultured, I can sense it. Leave me alone. I can't. <laughs> I'm already building up four different wanks over here. <laughs> You're in a top hat and you're pushing me on the bed. And And they all look like Lenin. <laughs> and I'm jogged up for re education. <laughs> I'm made to sleep with bigger women. <laughs> I want your life. That's all the point about you was raised. I was told that pissing in the sink was good manners. <laughs> rather than flush the chain late at night. <laughs> Chuck your shit out the window. <laughs> Let me sleep. <laughs> I've dreadfully undersold my sponsor, and uh, I can't wait to talk about ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's the part of the gig we've all been looking forward to. <laughs> Come on, favourite ice cream? Sorbet. Sorbet is an ice cream, is it? No. It's like, no, it's not. And why not? Why not, Angelo? Why is a sorbet different to ice cream, you megalomaniac fuck? <laughs> I'll see you later. Sorbet is uh, sugar and citric acid. Ice cream is milk powder and palm kernel oil, sugar. To just to you shut your face. Hey, 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 I'm, I'm another question this show answered. tonight. Another right? sleepless night you can do without now. <laughs> fucking sponsors and fucking blokes in my hats. Down 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 I'm just not happy. I'm just not happy. And I can't get it through to him to explain to him how much this means to me 
and he just goes off on a tangent talking about everything that I'm not interested in when he should be talking about ice cream, traditional ice cream and, uh, and that's it at the end of the day. To try and understand what, what makes a great comic, I've, I've been watching Johnny sleeping, you know. I mean, not in a weird way or anything like that. See if any of that, any of that comic genius will rub off on me, you know. And it's not, I mean, it's not weird, right? I mean, I've climbed in with him, you know, a couple of times. He doesn't know anything about it, obviously, you know. He climb in, you know, like, like two comedy twins in this little womb, you know. They snuggle up and... Uh, do you know, I, I got a semi once. Whereas it, it weren't a set, you know, not in a sexual way like, like, like you would with a woman. It was more of a piss prone, you know. Um, it's like when you need a slash. Um, it, it was nothing weird, you know, nothing weird at all. I didn't, you know, I didn't put it in or anything, you know, because that'd be a bit, bit odd. But mind you, you know, it could be like some kind of aircraft carrier, do you know, and he'd refuel me with some kind of comedy genius. It, it's not, it's not odd. It's, it's just. It's just what comics do. Tender carrots and potatoes. It's what comics eat, Johnny. The old baby food stuff. I've been coming to the festival for ten years now. This is this is what comics eat. It's legit. Do you want to try it? No, I don't. Come on, have a bit. Tony, I don't want any fucking baby food. Well, come on, so try a bit. What, what happened to my food? I don't eat fucking baby food. Oh, go on. I had a fridge with fucking milk and good things. This is what. There was one pate in there. I haven't touched the fridge. It's legally you can't even eat it. There's me, the Queen, no Edmonds, and a, a selected handful of people. I wouldn't go to a fridge and steal a great comic's food. We're only two people in the fucking flat. But we might have had burglars. And they left the video. And took the swan. I know what I'd do. Go and have a bit. I don't. Go and have a little bit. Go, oh, Johnny, it's what comics I, do. I don't want any baby food. Oh, you think you're such a big time comic, don't you? Hey, fucking monkey boy and all that. Fuck me, yeah. No, oh, I'm a big fucking comic. I don't need your baby food. What the fuck's that? I have some fucking baby food. See? It's nice, isn't it? Oh, it's really nice. You feel it go. You can feel it go down, can't you? You know, down your throat and everything, and it just like slides down dead easily, doesn't it? And it, you know, don't burn your stomach. Have some more. I'm full up now. No, you're not full. I am. We've, we've got loads it's really left. Filling. We've got loads left here. I'm just but trying to head and play. Head and Hijack. Boom. Just loads left. We here. took a. Look at that. You have to take a while to it. Look nice. Just, just done it. Look you have a bit. Just done it. Mmm. Mm. I've had a bit. Are you going to share the spoon? Ah, oh, go on. Go on. No, share I'm the spoon. Go on. I'll, I'll go on. Motor car, motor car. Car crash. It's nice, isn't it? Oh. Is it alright for you? Okay. Yeah. Eyes shut. Eyes shut. Let's go. Eyes shut! There we go! Uh, I like steak or poivre, which is, uh, that's French for pepper, poivre. Uh, you can have green, which is vert, so for instance if I went at a restaurant I might say steak or poivre, make sure it's vert sauce. You know what I mean? That I like that. I like sautéed potatoes, they're, they're like uh, a cross between a chip and a jacket potato. Uh, and I've also had, uh, it, they call it Calamari, and not squid. I used to trust Johnny Vegas, <clears throat> but now I can, I, well I can't even get him to answer me calls anymore. He's someone else now, I don't recognise him. I believe he's, he just moves with the higher at circles now. Paul Whitehouse might be able to trust him, but I think I'm long forgotten. I can trust him not to ring me back, 
and I can trust him to, uh, to be shit. I would send Johnny Vegas a Christmas card now if he sent me the money to send him a Christmas card. And if I knew his address. And if I knew him. On the day that Johnny Vegas finally drinks himself to death, I will celebrate. What I've done here, right, is I've arranged a press conference, right, I've got a fella from ice cream business, and the reason why is uh, to fucking humiliate him. Right, well, thanks for coming along today. Um, what we've got here is uh, what I like to think of a unique experience, and a chance for Johnny here to prove to a cynical public that he does have a real, true and abiding love for uh, Angelo's ices here. So to that end, we've come up with the uh, Chuck Ice Challenge. Uh, basically, a contest uh, to eat as much ice cream as is uh, possible uh, in, in an hour. So, if you'd like to make a start. Can't you just tell him I start can we start now? With the catchphrase, please, if we can. All oh, right, yeah. Is... Who's ready for the ice cream? So that's the comedy. That's the ice cream. Who the fuck's that? That's the comedy, that's the ice cream, and that's you in the middle. Now eat it. Right. I've not come here to waste my fucking time now eating them. There you go. Nice big bite. Let's have a nice big bite. Oh, Have you been drinking? You knew you were doing this, didn't you? You hey. knew you had this to do when you've been out fucking boozing, you lazy, selfish twat. Eat hey, your fucking ice creams! No, I've got... Shut up! You've been boozing? You've been boozing? Of course he's been boozing. I've gone to all this expense and you've been boozing! We've had fucking twelve quids with Well, I'll tell you what! Here, here. Any questions to finish up on? No, not really. No, well, shut up then. A considerate few words, isn't it, really? Mind that child. Look after the kids. Not, to, like, today. What, what do you see on the back of the vans today, eh? Samantha Fox's tits saying, Lick him, you love him. Uh, drugged up bastards, bedouin needles, eh? Spiders and shit like that, yeah, no, not on this van, mate. This is my van. My pride and joy and all you curly whirly pissheads who are out there in all your 40 grand vans, you can stick them where the sun don't shine. Cause I'm going back to the roots. You can go around in your vans all day with your curly whirly whippy frippy shitty stuff. Good luck to you, but I'm telling you, I'll be behind you. And soon, I'll overtake you. And soon, you'll be all crying to come and buy this bloody van. But you know what I'll say? Go and fuck yourselves. Who's ready for ice cream? Who's ready for ice cream? What a magnificent audience. You know, I might take this job up, actually, you know, comedian. <laughs> anyway, right, I'm not going to hold the show up any longer. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to announce the one and only, the irrepressible, Mr. Johnny Vega! Thank you. <laughs> for letting yourselves be abused by that fat fuck. <laughs> Osmer is a very ill-conceived investment. 
in my future, I know. I truly fucking believe that I'm going to come out and ask people if they're ready for ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> you twisted idiot. <laughs> I wonder why one bloke with one van, not a fleet. <laughs> Not a fleet of vans and a hard cousin, one bloke with one van. <laughs> Thinks he can pick on a bloke at a desperate moment and <laughs> chuck a bit of money at him. I don't want you sitting there. I've got head fucking full of traditional ice cream. Do you even know how ice cream is made? No, no. Neither the fucking I! <laughs> well, the blood's going to talk about it. It'll be a laugh. <laughs> Two chalk ices go in a pub, right? <laughs> I would think that's amazing enough. <laughs> start watching that, now I would go straight back to my wife and apologise. <laughs> and she wouldn't believe me, but I'd know I'd seen it with my own eyes. <laughs> so chalk ices, what? Did they walk in? Well, they kind of floated. Did they have little feet? I don't know. <laughs> I was caught up in the magic of the moment of two chalk ices just drifting in. What were they like? Well, they acted really casual. <laughs> For walking chalk ices on a hot day with loads of kids around, they really look like they could handle themselves. <laughs> they were just fucking chalk ices. Good evening. My name's Tony Cannon. Bought some gammon the other day. It's a gammon GM3. Oh, fuck off. There's a G at the beginning, there's two M's in the middle. Lying to us. Labels. Lying. That's fucking good material, you can fuck off. Fuck off. That's all right, that. That's fucking all right, that's a class fucking gag. Good evening, my name's Tony Kenner. <laughs> oh, hi, sponsors love me. I killed the monkey. I killed Hobnob Biscuits. That was another big potential money earner. <laughs> and then I got this phone call going, we're never so sorry, Graham Norton, they've gone for him, they're putting him on the packet. <laughs> and just at the time I was in this aquarium, deciding whether to go for guppies or just fucking playing goldfish. <laughs> I ended up with a saltwater crab and it died. <laughs> <laughs> How's he going to deal with an ice cream sponsor? By largely ignoring it during the gigs and then his head... <laughs> his head kicked in at the end of it. <laughs> Two chalk aces go in the pub. <laughs> Two fucking chalk aces go in the pub. One of them says to the other, it's fucking... <laughs> All right. All right. Fuck's sake. I don't know. Right, well, it's just not been good enough. I spent a lot of money tonight on this... Yeah, game. I'm going to be an Can I jump in there, mate? Yeah, yeah, come on. Let me just ask you a few questions straight right, to the face, right. mate, from the fucking get-go. Right. Did you see the name at the back of the stage? Yeah. Did you get a chance to go up there on stage? I did. Yeah, did he, did he speak about ice creams? Not as much What's as I wanted. Did he speak about Not as much as I, I wanted did him he to. Don't fucking round with me, because I'll go to fucking town on you. Did he speak about ice creams? Yes. At what point? Did that not match your expectations? I, I just thought that it might have just... Don't had... fucking make me go, mate, because when I go, you'll fucking know about it. Yeah. yeah. All right? Yeah. Me and yeah. you, together. Okay, mate. We're going to okay. fucking make this work. Okay. All right? Okay. Can Jay... I get a hug? Yeah, of course you can. Can Come I get on. a big hug? Come on. Come, Come on. on. Come on. We're going to... Angelo's Guy. Ice is Johnny Vegas. Guy. Going to the top. Who's ready for ice cream? Ice cream. Fucking yeah. That's 
See, see, already the words. Oh, and they, and they, already. So with the oh, are you excited? <laughs> Wake up, Johnny! Wake up, Johnny! Johnny, what is it now? Johnny, right? I bought some gammon today, Johnny. It said... No, you didn't, Tony. No, you don't go out. No, I did. I bought some gammon. It said gammon GM3, right? And I thought, fuck off, you know. There's a G at the beginning, there's two M's in the middle. Tony, it's a fucking gag. It's not a gag, I'm just making conversation, Johnny, you know that. Fucking making you know? conversation, you're trying your act out on. No, I, I, look, you know after the gammon, you know what I got, right? I parted some of the alphabet soup. You and didn't? It said, no, I did. You little no. baby food! No, I went out and I bought some gammon and some alphabet soup. Well, where is it then? It's downstairs. It's an alphabet soup, GM free. I thought, I'm not paying for half a job. You know, took it back. Oh, Tony. You know what I mean? Tony took punters, mate. Just. Look, I just wanted to have a chat with you. It's not a chat, Tony. Listen to me! I bought some fucking gammon today, Johnny. It said gammon, GM free. I thought, fuck off. There's a G at the beginning, there's two M's in the middle. After that. Bought some uh, alphabet soup. Said uh, alphabet soup, GM3. Oh, fuck off! I'm not paying for half a job and I took it fucking back! with Bill Bailey, didn't you, eh? Eh? Bet he washed That's his my fucking business. hair, didn't you? That's my business! Oh. Are you st get... Fucking get out! That's as a soul, would you? I'm not stretching soul, Tony! Johnny, I love you, mate. You're my friend, you're my comedy Tony, partner. this isn't love! And it ain't fucking Spartacus! It's I'm odd! Are you calling me odd? Because I'm not odd, it's just, you know, friends. Just natural, just bubbles. Hey, it's nice, isn't it? Hey? Now stay there! Passed around the fringe community that Johnny's got AIDS this year. AIDS? Question mark. Vegas is your man. You might ask me why I've done it. Johnny Cockneff, I've put there. It's all too easy for him to fall off stage covered in sick and go home with some fucking tart and a bag of chips. Full blown shit your pants, AIDS. It's a comfort to him. Uh, and I need to remove every element of comfort in his life. Johnny Vegas has AIDS and he will die if you go near him. So, I'll go with that. We've something else to show you that we think you might like for yeah. the show. Right. We're a team, right? Yeah. We were a team. And our best team player. Word of case. We're a word of team. To put this on. Look. No. A Neapolitan jumpsuit, Johnny. Have Just you? the job. Just the job, cheeky chimp. Have you took a knock to the fucking head? You told me it were this, didn't you? I'm asking you. Kai's got you a question. You told me it were this, didn't you, Kai? Kai's got a question for Johnny. Kai wants to know, yes or no, is Johnny going to wear that suit for you us? Are. You are, aren't you, Johnny? Yes or no? I think you made a Remember the name, Angela Wilson. Here, catchphrase, Johnny. Come on, Johnny. <laughs> oh, 
Who's ready for ice cream? No. Six. Happy <laughs> birthday <laughs> to you. Uh, okay. That's one. Well. Thank, thank you very much. Can't just show them. Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. Whatever it is. Donny's going to do a little dance for you, ladies and gentlemen. Now he's agreed to do a lovely little dance. Off we go. Go on. To the Scottish music. Come on. Come on. Here go. Dance. Come on. That's six. Come on. Remember the name, sweet tart, traditional ice cream. And that's Johnny Vegas, by the way, down there. What are you doing? Please help me. Do it properly! Do it properly! Oh, we don't do it at all! And get up and smile! Don't you want to get up and smile? So I'm coming tonight then? No. I'll come with a fist? Never. No, I'll come tonight. That'd be good, that'd be funny. Be funny, that. Do you know, like, if I'm in the audience and you just suddenly go, here's Tony and he's got this musical fist, then we'll just do a bit of that. It'd be really funny, that. It'd be funny, wouldn't it? It'd be funny. You can do it in your own gig. No, no. My show's perfect. You know that. I want to come to yours, I want to make yours better. Come on, Johnny. Let's come down. Nine o'clock. I'll be there. I'll be sat in the seat. And you'll get me out, won't you? You'll get me out of the audience and I can use my thing. You're so no, can I use my thing? I can use my thing. Why can I use my thing? Please. I'd use it in my show, but my show's about shoes and that's a fist. When I had something to offer. Who's ready for ice cream? Thank you very much indeed. And now, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Johnny Vega. gentlemen. I'm Johnny Vegas and I have no sexually transmitted diseases. <laughs> and that's the way comedy's going. <laughs> As an ex Butlin's red coat, I could have come out here once, started with a song, a one medley. Now I've got to come out and give a fucking health warning. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've done things that has alienated me from audiences, I know. But I swear to you, and on art, I didn't know the monkey stuff was going to be adverts. <laughs> I read the contract, pissed. I thought I was releasing a real one to the wild. 
who was more shocked than me when he turned round and started talking to me? <laughs> a talking fucking monkey! <laughs> what would you do? Would you say anything? No, you just sit there thinking, I'm gifted. <laughs> I knew animals could talk to me! <laughs> I saw the end of his ass, but that's showbiz! You don't let on! That's just his way of getting through the day! Three days in, I tried to release him! I took him to the zoo! He wouldn't climb the fence! I thought we'd built a bond together! I threw him over and some orangutan started mauling him! I was confused! I made a mistake! I did an advert! I sold out! But I'm still me! And I can't tell you! To make up for that, coming back here with an ice cream sponsor <laughs> makes me so proud. <laughs> I, I, I came out on this first bit thinking I was funny as fuck. <laughs> and you've just turned it around completely. I want to thank you because you, you've taught me humility. And there was me thinking, I've got a couple of little good comedy jazz ideas I'll play around with. Now I'm thinking, half a bottle of gin, come out and I'll just make models with my own poo. <laughs> I knew that's what you'd come for. You try and hold off doing it, but it's third in the eyes. Go on, make them off, make them off with sweet corn eyes. <laughs> Do you all work for a living? Yeah. No, you shake your head. No, I'm a student as well. You're a student as well. What do you study? Psychology. <laughs> You've got five seconds, you bastard, because I ain't paying for your kind. <laughs> and you thought you'd come along here and turn me into some kind of project. You can't! <laughs> come on, what's wrong with me? Why do I cry in the night? Why do I wet the bed and feel no shame? <laughs> Why do you wave a watch in front of someone and convince them you can stop them from smoking? <laughs> I'm getting to talk about things they don't want to. Do you put me under your little spell? All I talk about is films I've wanked over while I've been a guest at somebody's house. Yeah, Police Academy, the bonfire scene. She goes topless, only for a second, but she does. <laughs> and him, Tackleberry, gets dead confused on the saxophone. <laughs> what gives you the right to tell other people they're sick? <laughs> talk to me, you bastard! <laughs> We've got a room full of people here, paid for gags, and I've already sussed the gig's going wrong. <laughs> but if you think that. I'm going to let you off, <laughs> talk to me, help me. <laughs> if we could just take our tops off and hug. <laughs> let me kiss your nipple. <laughs> if I could kiss your nipple, I might understand you. <laughs> Inverted. <laughs> That's it, love. Oh, Fucking right. laugh like a witch. Because we haven't had enough of that. Have a beer, I don't like lag. Oh, Thank you for offering it. I'll just drink it. You'll just drink it? Yes. Like that's a threat. <laughs> Come on, I'll arm wrestle you for that. Go for I'll arm wrestle you! <laughs> <laughs> We had blokes climbing on stage and pissing on people. That's what we need. Come on, Johnny! Johnny! That's it. And if one of you are shouting and they don't join in, that's because secretly they admire you. <laughs> if that anger doesn't spread, it's their fault, not yours. <laughs> you mean. Johnny! 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 I love it when the room turns and somebody's going to lose an eye. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Come further in the middle. You. I've seen over the top. Don't take the piss. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now you think I'm going to use my stand-up, but I'm not. I'm not going to use my stand-up.
stand up. Yeah, you can't sit now. You want to do it. You can taste the coya, but I want to fucking hurt. Put that in your hand and pipe and smoke it. All of you now swap seats. Yeah, all of you now. Come on. And don't do it for yourselves. Do it for the ice cream. That's it. That's it. Look at it. It's a fusion. It's different personalities. It could kick off. We're not asked. You're talking amongst yourselves. It's gorgeous. I'm being ignored. I fucking love it. <laughs> Oh, Johnny, now you've got them where you want them. Don't let them go, son. Don't let them go. Use the power of Davro. If it means an, an impression, do something. <laughs> but all of you now, as a group, because I ain't lecturing you no more. I've come out here, I've burned myself. I've told you how painful things are. And I resent you. I don't deny. Because you seem a very well-to-do audience. <laughs> And I come out, and then, yeah, you're all there going, I, I got my tickets for Johnny, did you? Yeah, I'm net. <laughs> <laughs> Those blokes outside with hacksaws who didn't get tickets. And I could have been playing pirates with them now. <laughs> with a Yankee screwdriver. And people in the room were going, that's it, that's it, drilling his ear. <laughs> but no, I got you lot, the listeners, the absorbers. <laughs> the consumers of noise that give nothing back. <laughs> You're like sirens in reverse. All the ships get past safely. <laughs> sing, you fuckers, sing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now that you've switched seats, bring them into the middle. Let's not have this sense of escape. Who can slide together? Yeah, sit in the middle like top of the pops, just you on your own. You. <laughs> I love you, you teenage freak. You just do this to me. You're adopted, are you? You know what? You've really helped me out, but something still makes me want to run up and just kick you in the neck. Can I do it? Like, I'll make, a, I'll make a deal with you. I'll try and miss your knackers and aim for your ass. But if I eat your knackers, I don't want to fucking let it off your mum. <laughs> Oh, the woman the woman whose doorstep you ended... Right, OK. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you the best kick up the arse I can. <laughs> Do you mind if I do it in the fetal position? Kick it! Oh, you fucking... Oh, I know, it was a good one. <laughs> fucking hell. Oh, it's good. To feel that pain of live performing. <laughs> and we are ready for the song now. Yeah. I bet we could all rise to our feet in one glorious movement. When George Michael came along, I thought he was a gobshite. But he sang a song that spoke volumes to me. Which song, Johnny? Well, I'm your face around town for a while. I saw Gritty Jew with a knowing smile. <laughs> when I saw that girl upon your arm, I knew she'd won your heart with a fake cool jam. I said, hey, boy, what's with the frown? I said, hey, boy, let's hit the town. But in return, all you could see was I, George, read my fiancé. Jackie, look at nigga, young guns and some fun. Crazy legs keep them on the run. Wise guys realize danger in emotional ties. Sing and be no face, no change what I want to be. One, two, take a look at you. Death, bad, match up. Hey, tell these two to take your hand. There's something about that boy I don't like. Oh, sugar, you don't mean the thing he says. We'll get him out of my way, because I'm seeing red. We got plans to make, we got things to buy. You're wasting time with some creepy guy. Hey, shut up, chick, that's a friend of mine. Just watch him out, babe. You're out of line. Whoa! Get back, hands off, go for it. Get back, hands off, go for it. 
dung 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 Let me take you to a place where maybe ships are smiling face Brush shoulders with the stars Where strangers take you by the hand and welcome you to Wonderland <laughs> I'm chuffed. You yeah. know, for years and years and years, I've just gone round on an ice cream van. But since meeting you and hooking up with Johnny, it's, it's feel just like you were wasting your time. I, I did, I did, but not, any, not anymore. How do you now. feel now? Oh, and you o love. over the moon! Fantastic. Thanks that check's gone in, has it? Oh yes. Oh yeah. yeah don't worry about that, Mr. Right. Kai. Fantastic. And th thanks for don't everything. Don't touch me. Sorry. Sorry. Don't ever fucking touch me. Right. It's finished now. I've liked being in the company. Don't touch me. Okay. Now right. fuck off. All right. Come on. Come on. 